external hard drive, which like my with my computer struggling the past few days, I don't know if anyone would notice when like stuff would glitch out or not quite work right. Literally, my computer's old and it can't handle everything I try to do with it and the multiple monitors and everything without the external hard drive. So now that I finally remember to bring my drive back, if you are absent, you do not need to miss class. It should be uploaded by about lunch. Well, not your class. Math 7 will be up by like lunchtime. Your class will probably be up by like 1. So if you're ever absent, you can email and like check in with teachers like, hey, what am I missing? But also for math, you can just hop on YouTube and see if the class is there. It should be there by some point in the afternoon. It takes time to upload, and it depends on how much you guys are doing. Um, we do not actually need our Chromebooks out yet. We should get some Khan Academy time. But what I want to try to do first is I need to meet with a couple people to just ask some questions. I would love if you and your partners, as a lot like you, I'm trying to convince you guys that doing math together helps. So you and whoever's around you, now if you really don't want to work with people, I'm not going to force you. And if you're not sitting next to anyone, you can get up and move or like turn around and talk to people. But I want you to go ahead and start trying to work through the front of this worksheet. These are exactly like the problems that you're going to see on your homework. We need to practice using variables, coefficients, constants, grouping symbols, all of that stuff to set up expressions that represent verbal, like written, right, like written situations. So I want you and your partner to try that one. Now, so the, for the first one, I will give you what things you could use. So you could use, that's a, that's a pen. And it kind of tells you up there, but we're going to match these with where they would go to match that situation. On the next one, well, the, like, you know, after this one, you're kind of on your own to figure out what variable should I use, how should I group things, do I put parentheses around the thing before I divide, or do I divide before I put, like, you'll see it as you get to it, but I want you guys to try this for a few minutes so then we can talk about it, and you can figure out, did you do it right? Do you need a little bit of help? Do you need to slow down a little bit? Does that make sense? Any questions? Thank you. Same thing, a text message, but it's still frustrating. It means they just didn't want to put it away and they just snuck it. Thank you. I know who was sitting back there. We'll talk tomorrow. Will and Chase, can I see you guys? Mainly because you're both in my advisory and I'm hoping to make a good plan here. So you guys are starting to fall behind, but like in the same way as each other. My advice would be add extensions. Just pull up the same assignment and you won't necessarily have the exact same questions. But if you're doing the same thing, you can talk with each other about it and help each other confirm like, oh, I think this, can you help me make sure this is right? But I want to make sure you both realize like we're starting to fall multiple assignments behind. So the only way I'm going to let you guys keep sitting next to each other in extensions is if you're doing math, right? Sure, lock it at whatever you need to say. But like, I don't want to update math and put a bunch of missing stuff, right? So can we get these done before I need to update math? Cool. And that email goes home to nothing. So like, 
if I need to change anything in that, let me know. But like right now, we're just missing some stuff. Add extensions, though. Are you going to be here at extensions? No, not today. Today's Thursday. I don't know that anyone has all missed at extensions today. I think you guys are in extensions today. Chase, Will, no, you do have extensions today. Yeah, you do not have well missed. Let's get that math done. And if you guys need help, do it during extensions so you can ask me for help. Cool? Thank you. Don't ask on Jack. Where did he go? Wait, oh, you're all bonding. Hey, Kira, can I see you real quick? Because the main reason I want to check in with you is like you've done that assignment, but there are some older ones that you're missing. So make sure that you check your past list. Because I know it can like we can forget about them because they shift over into the past list. You have some old like things that were due. Well, these are due today, but then this was due yesterday, so it's gonna be in the past list now. Does that make sense? Like these, I think I may do at nine o'clock this morning. So they're late now, so they're probably going to be in the past list also. I just want to make sure you knew that you were getting a little bit behind. I don't think so. Not those three. You did combine it like terms with negative coefficients and distribute. This one's harder than that one. Like that one, you, so you might have started them, but you have not submitted it. So let's check on those later. I mean, or if you need to pull your homework up now to check on like what's going on, you can. But I just want to make sure you were aware. We can also deal with this extension because Will and Chase need to catch up too. I mean, all three of you can work together if you want. I mean, or you don't have to. Know. Did you guys figure anything out last night after you went home about what you're doing and what you're not doing? I mean, we could find a different like. Could they? Could your club meet in the morning? School's really quiet in the morning. That'd be a great time to record. Like class? No, like like eight o'clock. Like if you guys came in early and you had like until school started to record and whatever else you wanted. Like I'm always here by eight o'clock. If you guys want to come in early, let me know and I can. You know, you could just come in at this door and I can get you into the lab and you guys can do your thing. You let me know, okay? I will help you in whatever way I can. Okay, I got you. I don't want you to have to stop doing that, but life is sometimes about making choices. Jack, I mentioned this to you this morning. I just wanted you to see it. You're starting to look pretty concerning because we have stuff that was due last week. Well, actually, those quizzes, sorry, those don't worry about because that was just for me to plan. So the quizzes that are in there, do not worry about redoing those. But we are getting to the point where I'm dropping some missings and maps. All right, this screen, you're okay. Um, biggest thing is, if you need help, A or extensions, come meet me. Okay? But you need to catch up on these assignments. There's a report going home to parents today that they're going to see some of those missings from. It's like, tonight it goes home. If you get stuff done, email me so I know to change it. Okay? Thank you. What else? <laughs> yes. Yeah, but that's not what you're supposed to do. Right now, we're trying to figure out what part of this matches this. I mean, that's what that would become, but we don't need to do that right now because we're actually looking at the individual pieces of that. You're right, but that's not what we're practicing right now. I All right, let's come together real quick, like the Beatles, and just make sure that you know what we're doing. Thank you. I, I sometimes say them under my breath. So many people who are paying attention uh, get the chance to appreciate them. All right, so I love what some people are doing of like doing the distributive property and stuff. 
But this is helping us um, try to analyze the pieces and parts. Sorry, I don't know where the rest of my cards. Ha! Pocket. Look, some days my shirt has a pocket, some days it doesn't. It throws me off. So we could distribute this. And Chase came up and he was like, yo, this is what happens, right? And I'm like, yeah, you're, you're right. That's not what we're practicing right now. What we're practicing is like, how do I use variables, expressions, grouping symbols, and the correct order of operations to, to take a verbal situation and make it mathematical? So Eva, can you help me with the total number of kilometers in the ride, the whole ride? The five, right? Because he's partway through a 20 minute break, bike ride, takes him four minutes to go kilometers, but it doesn't straight up tell us that. So how'd you figure that out? Because you were looking at this, I'm sure. Like, I'm sure you were looking at this. Anyone want to tag in and help out? Mm -hmm. Want to tag in, tag in. So it makes sense that if we know the ride will last 20, and there's no 20 in our expression, but 4 times 5 would give us 20. So then Jack, well, you went to the restroom. Or do you want to you put your card back in the stack for now? Um, yeah. Nolan, what about the number of kilometers he already biked? Yeah, that's our K because we're taking that away from the five that's going to be our total. Chase, what about number of kilometers left in the ride? Uh, Biked K, he's trying to bike a total of five. I think you, you guys were distributing and you didn't take as much time to think about. I'm going to put your card back in a second. Jeremiah, you are here, just in a different spot. Jeremiah, you want to help me out with this one? Number of kilometers left? There isn't a 5K up here. You need a 5. Ah, 5 minus K. He's trying to go 5. He has gone K. So what's left? So you're like, yes, it's both, right? And this is where math gets harder. The, the more you learn about math, the more complicated it gets. I'm not joking. If we know what K is, we can do that subtraction, right? So that's where it's like, we can say five minus K because we're going to figure out what K is. Or you could say five plus a negative K, they're both the same. So you're right, but like we're allowed to say minus here. I know I'm kind of brainwashing you the other way. Hey Harrison, do you know uh, number of minutes it takes here per kilometer? Four. <laughs> the only one left is four. Any questions on that one? All right, a little bit tougher because you don't have the options given to you. Let's talk about Chad. Take a couple minutes on your own. If you're already done with that one, go ahead and keep working down the sheet. Seriously, not over the longer, and I was like, I don't know. 
that's the problem is that I don't know. What were you complaining to your parents about while I was starting to You told me this fact.
So yeah, this is where like if we're relating it to the cost of the watch, like so here's where 0.7 W comes out to actually be the dollars. So hope like so don't write that down necessarily. This is just asking us for the percent of normal cost that Chad paid. Not the money he paid, but the percent he paid. If it asked us for the money, we'd want to do 0.7 W. But if it doesn't ask for like how much did he pay, if it just asks about the percent, it's 0.7. So this ends up being, what is W minus 0.3 W? That's the 0.7 W. That comes out to be how much he pays. Yeah, so the third one down is point, because that is really representing 30% that he's saving. Does that make sense? Other questions? Mas preguntas? Muy bien. Has Mr. Combs started teaching any Spanish yet? Yeah. Okay. Most important phrase to know, you're going to a Spanish-speaking country. Don't ask Donald Bonnie. What is that? Where is the bathroom? You probably need to be able to ask that. And then if you want to be polite, puedo ir al baño. May I go to the restroom? All right, Camilla, do we need more time for Camilla? Are we all past Camilla already? Should we go? Do we want to go ahead and try to go over this together? Wow, you're so excited. <laughs> yeah. Lila, help me out. They ask specifically here. I mean, or pass. They ask specifically here. What does D minus twenty one represent in this situation? You will have needed to have read it for this to make sense. Are you ready? Like, do you want to pass, or are you good to help oh, with this? Um, the total like, weight per year shield. The total weight per year shield is like that's money. I'm just checking that I understand what you're saying. Yeah. The D minus twenty one. That's money. Well, no. No, correct. That's not money because there's no money involved in that part. There's money involved up here. There's money involved in that, but the D minus 21, take 20 seconds, turn to a neighbor, see if you can agree on what D minus 21 represents here. That's 10 cents a day that she's past due. 10 cents a day that she's past due. Can I didn't point this out to you guys as highlighters in here, by the way, if you want some quick access right now. Yeah, perfect. All right, now when we come back together, do you want an, another shot at this or do you want to pick some of this? Do you want another shot at this or do you want to pick some of this? I'm too confused. I'm gonna go on. Carter, help me out. D minus 21 in this context.
Ooh, how'd you figure that out? Yeah, the 21 is how many days she's allowed to have the book, right? 21 days after she borrowed. She's supposed to turn it in three weeks later. If she doesn't, she starts getting fined. The teachers don't pay those fines, by the way. It's great. So the D minus 21 here, that D would be the total days she had it. But doing D minus 21 says, well, how many days late is it? So that would be number of days Due. So it's the number of days past due, which will help her figure out how much she owes. What did, what, did, did the work they do in libraries charge overdue fees? Uh, they just automatically renew. Okay, they just automatically renew. If you haven't done this one, there are trap doors. Watch out for the trap doors. I'm going to give you like, you know, another three or four. If you get this one done, move on to the next one, too. I'll give you a couple minutes to chat with each other about this. I'm a dog, Dad. It's okay. All right. I want to give you some time to pull up on if you want to. Question answer. I'll take you for answer because your card's still in the deck. Comment. Okay. Sure. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
10 times 3s, what would that come out to be? Anybody? Okay, so let's check that. Then Rowan, what about another one up here? Watch out for those trap doors, Danny. B as in like boy? Oh, hey, it's the expanded version of D. It is D, because D and D are the same thing, because 10, I see, I hate letters. I like B, C, D, and E all sound way too similar. So guys, just get used to it. If we're doing letter type stuff in here, you might have to say like D as in dog, D as in boy, C as in cat. Like I, I also used to drum, and I still do sometimes, but like I've had, I have some hearing damage, especially in this side. I'm not joking. Like, this is not the guy. So if you come and talk to me, you'll like see me turn. Like this side's all messed up. So like not joking. I hate letters. Now wait, why? Why not E? E looks like it should work. Ooh. Trap door, what is it? Uh, there is two S, not three S. Ah, they switched around how many M's and how many S's, right? Oh, no. Switched around the M's and the S's. Let's move on to the next one. I hope you've been to before. Madeline, how many books did Hannah donate? Now, if you guys haven't made it to this one yet, obviously this might be where like you pass, but if you have made it to this one, I would love your help. This one deals a lot with like grouping symbols and order. Order is pretty important here. So when you say and then, I'm going to try to like mathify what you said. You said, sorry, B divided by 150. Yeah. Why did we start with B? And then we divide by 150 because? And then why'd you do times three? Yeah. So we could also say 3B over 150. We could also say B over what? Just 50. All of these are correct. Any of those forms that you use are equivalent to each other. Sarah received $55 for her birthday. She used some of that money to buy three shirts priced at M dollars each. Chase, help me out. Eh? You didn't get to this one yet? Vivian, can you help me out? Ooh, let's do it live. Anyone want to do it live? Ooh, well, who am I calling on? I'm calling on all of you guys today. All right, Chase, because you were originally called on. And we want to get in the habit of we like to put the coefficient first. You can write it m times 3, but it's just nicer if you do 3 times m. Any opposition to what Chase said? He did it live. Nah, I agree. Yeah, I don't think I have any opposition. And we got two left. Aaron, Donald has X $20 bills and one $10 bill. How much money does Donald have? I'm pretty sure Donald Duck has like a, a vault full of gold coins that's also. No, that's, 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 that's Scrooge McDuck. Sorry, my apologies. Kyrie. Uh, so, 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 so I agree with you, but I'm going to put the 20 first. 20 times X, because we got X $20 bills. And hey guys, true confession, I got this wrong when I was going through con and doing it myself. Because all I looked at was one. And I just did plus one and got excited and hit enter. But it won $10 bill. Slow yourself down. I had to tell myself that. Don't move so fast that you're like, this is easy. Bad word, right? Don't move so fast you get it wrong for a silly reason. And our final one today. Sorry, Carter, question or answer? Um, um, I have a question about the last one. 
guy. So if you write 20x and there is no symbol between, this is an assumed multiplication, and not like assumed or like don't assume you think that's bad. In, uh, infer is probably a word that I should use. Like when you put a number right up against a variable, it is multiplied. You do not have to show the multiplication symbol. So that's a great question. And really the answer was no, you don't have to show it as long as the number's right up against the variable. It is multiplication. Jack? Sure, let me read it real quick. Angela shared a cab with her friends. When they arrived at their destination, they evenly divided the J dollar fare among the three of them, and Angela also paid a $5 tip. How do we write out what Angela paid? Uh, uh, you can write J divided by 3, and then plus 5. And if you want to be real particular, you could group your J divided by 3 first. You don't have to because division will happen first according to the order of operations. So you don't have to add the grouping symbols to make it happen first. It's just a little nicer if we do that. You have about five minutes. I don't know how fast your Chromebook loads, but you can get on Khan Academy if you want. Up to you. Yeah, yeah. So, or you can just kind of hang out and have a less, like, you know, less cram packed class. I was trying to like slow it down a little bit and take a breath. Um, hey, you guys want to see our schedule? Somebody asked me about like, do I do I have a schedule or whatever? I heard my name. So guys, if you want to see our schedule, we're taking a quiz tomorrow. Quizzes are shorter. Quizzes are shorter. They should only take about twenty minutes. Fridays are short class. If you want to see where we're going, look at the board. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, quiz on Friday, right? But then the following week, oh, and this is on Thursday. I just, I kept my schedule in order of the stuff, but, you know, we're going to do that Thursday. But then the following week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday will be our review Jenga. Thursday, Friday. So really, like, when you're done with the quiz, you can go ahead and take the test. And actually, I'll probably make quiz three available sooner. But, like, this unit will be done by the 20th. Which is also when I plan to reset the con progress. So, like, when we all wrap up this unit, and we've all kind of gotten to the same place, we'll reset all the con, like, progress rings because did you guys win yesterday or did the other one? You guys won? Um, so yeah, keep pushing, but then we'll reset that after this unit. Cool? There's our schedule. Reminder, those quizzes can sit at whatever score they're at. Those quizzes do not matter right now. Quiz one, quiz two that we took like end of last week, bless you. That was just to help me plan them. Um, Lydia, I did need to tell you, you never submitted the unit test, and I'm not sure if you weren't here that day, but at some point I need you to finish and submit that unit test, okay? good noise right there. You guys want to see if we're still winning or how far we are now? Yeah. Might as well, right? All right, we were on ring 20. Ah, oh, it messed up the zoom. Um, I think the only way to do this correctly, bring this over and now load it up.
All right. You guys won by like 42%. Let's see how far we are. Actually, it's time to go to lunch. I should probably let you guys go to lunch. We'll let this ring fill and then I'll just close it. It's still going. Oh, fine, 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 fine. That that's it. You're you're 22. You made it, but that's it. All right, keep pushing. Keep pushing.